In this video, we'll be test driving the Docker Management GUI yacht. We'll set up the template variables first, and then we'll launch a few Docker containers, Plux, Sonar, and Sab. Setting the variables first is how yacht's meant to be used, so it'll make launching these containers a breeze. Fair warning, yacht's still considered an alpha stage, so production use is not recommended. So please just use this as testing and, and at your own risk. With that being said, let's get to it. First, let's install Yacht. Open up Open Media Vault and get logged in. Once you're logged in, head over to OMV Extras on the left and then Docker, Yacht, and then install. Go ahead and click Close here. And the username is written at the bottom. It's just this admin at yacht.local. And you see right below it, the password is just the word pass. So we can click on open yacht here. Enter our username. Again, the password is just the word pass. And click log in. And we're in. Now let's create a shared folder to store all of our Docker files. Let's head back over to Open Media Vault, go down to shared folders. We're going to add, and we'll just call it Docker. And the device will be our storage array. And we'll click Save. Go ahead and apply it, and then Yes to confirm. And now let's just add our absolute path column. And then we're going to get Control P, like we're going to print this web page. And we'll be able to copy our absolute path. Now let's head back into Yacht and replace our template variables. Go ahead and get logged back into Yacht if it's timed out on you. And now we're gonna go into settings and template variables and up to the slash Yacht is what we're replacing with the absolute path we just copied. And we'll use the root user ID and group ID. And then click save. And now we can set up the yacht templates. So let's head over to templates and then view templates. And we can see here we don't have any. So go ahead and click the add button. Copy the URL into the URL field. And then give it a name. And then click submit. And now click on yacht templates and we have all of our templates first we'll be installing plex because we set the variables we shouldn't need to change too much so we can leave this as default for plex we're going to be using the host network so continue here these are the variables we don't need to change because we set them earlier so continue and deploy And let's go ahead and browse over to our Plex container. And log in if you have a Plex account. And we'll set up our media libraries real quick so we don't need a Plex pass can leave the name as is. This is optional to allow access from the outside. And we'll add our libraries. First will be TVs, because that's what we're mainly going for. Browse over to our TV folder here. And add library. And we can go ahead and add our movies since we're already here. So movies, next, browse, and then the movie folder here. Add library and next and done. And that's it for Plex. Let's head back over to Yacht. Let's head over to view our templates again and then the Yacht templates. And this time we're gonna install Sab. Let's do a search for Sab and deploy. Again, we shouldn't need to change too much. Sab is gonna use a bridge network. Continue, don't need to change anything. 
continue and deploy. And now let's configure SAB real quick. So browse over to it by using this little button here. Test my server. We're good. Next. And then the only other things we really need to change are our download and temporary download folders. So temporary download. We'll go to our incomplete downloads here. And then our completed download folder will just be the regular just downloads right here. Save changes. Sab should be good to go. Back over to Yacht. Finally, we can install Sonar. So, so back over to Templates, Yacht Templates, and we'll do a search for Sonar. Deploy, leave as is. Again, bridge network. And continue and deploy. And we can configure Sonar now. So let's click on the web UI. And we'll go into settings and I'll configure the indexer first. So I use NZB Geek. And then we'll set up SAB. So let's go grab the SAB API key real quick. So back over to SAB and then config general here and the API key. Back over to Sonar and our API key here. All this SAB. And save. Now let's test everything out. Let's head over to series, add a series. We'll use Family Guy as a test. First, first addition to the library, we have to select our folder. And I'm just gonna add this. I'm not gonna tell it the search. We'll head over to series and I'll just have it search for the, just the first episode. Shows it's downloading, so we'll just let this download. And while we wait, now would be a great time to subscribe to my channel if you found any value in this uh, video whatsoever. And now that the download is finished, let's head over to Plex. on our TV shows and let's do a scan. And there's Family Guy. It seems today. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.